an all party meet uh, is taking place for the second time today for uh, as, as the government tries to convince uh, opposition and allies uh, on the new anti rape bill uh, the first round of this meeting was inconclusive there's uh, still no consensus especially on uh, the issue of lowering the age of consent to 16 with most parties insisting that it should remain an eight at 18 uh, the uh, source in the government now saying that they are not averse to raising the age back to 18 while the CPI has sought 18 as the age of consent, Mulayam Singh Yadav of the Samajwadi Party vehemently opposed the bill. The TNC has pressed for wider consultations with states. Uh, whether it should be 16 or 18, is uh, there were di uh, divergence of views. Largely, largely, the intent and object of the bill has been appreciated, and there are two, three provisions which will be further discussed, and if required, the government will bring in amendments so that the bill can be, in, be put up for introduction, consideration and passing in Lok Sabha and thereafter be taken to Rajya Sabha. Deputy National Bureau Chief Sumit Pandey is joining us for more on this. Sumit, the time is limited for the government. The ordinance lapses on the 4th of April. The second round of that all-party meeting is happening now. Is the government expected to, to give in to some of the key demands that the opposition is making? Well, ideally, the government would want to have some sort of consensus being built on this bill at this point in time. As you said rightly that uh, the bill lapses or the ordinance lapses on the 4th of April and the parliament session ends the, on uh, this weekend. So whatever has to be done will have to be done this week itself. The bill has to be passed in both the Lok Sabha and the Raj Sabha. Uh, what the government is, uh, is now looking at is that if there is some sort of consensus on the broad guidelines of the bill and if at all there is some tweaking re uh, required, then rather than sending the bill back to the cabinet, the bill as passed by the cabinet can be introduced in the Lok Sabha and the government itself on its own can bring in those amendments uh, on, on the basis of the consensus which, uh, on which the all party meeting or the all political parties agree to. There are a couple of uh, basic points of contention if you look at it. One is obviously <coughs> the political parties seeking a, a broad safeguards regarding uh, the issues of voyeurism and uh, stalking and the other issue is that a lot of them are saying that uh, lowering the age of consent uh, is, is something that uh, they don't agree to. It should remain at 18 years. So these are the two basic points on which the something uh, ironing out is, is required at this point in time and Samajwadi party seems to be the only party which uh, is quite vehemently and broadly opposing the bill. The other party seems to be quite agreeable to, to bill being passed in this session itself. In fact, Sumit, the government source is now telling us that they're not averse uh, to bringing the age of consent back to 18 uh, from 16, as has been suggested in that bill. Uh, so the government uh, ready to, to give in on some fronts to build consensus. Thanks very much. We will wait uh, for the second round of this meeting to end and see how it goes. Uh.